publish your podcast episodes from your RSS feed to SoundCloud automatically. I'll show you how to do that with Yahoo Pipes and If This Then That. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from theaudacitypodcast.com. I don't recommend SoundCloud as the primary home for your podcast, but if you can afford it, it is a great additional distribution channel to help you grow your audience. Instead of manually uploading every episode at a time and doing a lot of copying and pasting or retyping, use these tools that I'll show you so that when a new episode goes in your RSS feed, it gets automatically uploaded to SoundCloud. You don't need to have a Yahoo account for this or even know how Yahoo Pipes works. All that you need is an If This Then That account, which is free over at ifttt.com, and of course, your SoundCloud account. I have the links for these different recipes and tools that you can use, and if you'd like to copy and edit them, in the notes below this video or at this URL. Here's how you do this. First, visit the Yahoo pipe that I created for you and fill in the podcast title, website, and podcast-only RSS feed. If you want advanced control over how your podcast episodes publish to SoundCloud, create or log into a Yahoo account, clone this pipe, and then edit it to your satisfaction. With the information entered, click Run Pipe. You'll see your most recent podcast episodes listed. These won't publish to SoundCloud, but new episodes will from this time forward. Then right-click on Git as RSS and copy the URL. The exact text in this pop-up menu will probably be different depending on which browser you're using. Second, create or log in to an If This Then That account and visit the recipe I created for you. If you don't already have SoundCloud connected to your account, click the Activate button, log into SoundCloud, and finish the connection. Replace the URL in this first field with the RSS feed from Yahoo Pipes. You can jump straight to clicking Add Recipe and be finished, but there are some simple things you can customize here before you add this recipe. The episode title will be pulled from each new episode in your RSS feed. You can add text to this and that will be added to every episode. For example, you could add your show title or your name or both if you'd like. The description will be pulled from the short description or excerpt with each new episode in your RSS feed. Plus, two lines of text will be appended that will link to your show notes and your main website. I'll show you how that looks in just a moment. You can add any text you'd like to the beginning or end of this description, and that will be applied to every single episode that's published with this workflow. Lastly, the first 30 tags will be pulled from the category keywords in your RSS feed. For PowerPress feeds, these would be your WordPress tags. Your name and the title of your podcast will also be added as additional tags. Each episode's unique tags will be applied to just that episode. You can add additional global tags that describe your entire show and every episode you create. In my case, that would be podcasting and how to podcast. Separate each of these tags with a comma. And if a single tag contains multiple words, like how to podcast, enclose that tag with quotation marks. Otherwise, each word would be converted to an individual tag, like how and to and podcast. When you're finished customizing, click add recipe. Everything is set up, so now you just need to publish a new episode. This automatic publishing process will take about 15 to 60 minutes after your new episode is in your RSS feed. While everything is processing, you may look at your SoundCloud account and notice that you don't see any new episode yet. Then you'll see the new episode listed as still being processed. And eventually, depending on how long the episode is and how much processing it needs, it will eventually show in your public feed on your SoundCloud channel. If you click on this, you'll see the information that was carried over automatically and some of it inherited from SoundCloud. Like your image for this episode is inherited from your SoundCloud profile image. So if you want a different image displayed here, you can either change it on a per episode basis manually right now, yeah, I know, or change whatever your profile image is with your SoundCloud account. If you want to add this episode to a playlist, you do also have to do that manually once the episode is uploaded. But the description is pulled automatically from the RSS feed. This is all of the text that was already in my feed. 
you may have something shorter that might be just a paragraph or a sentence that displays, and that's pulled over automatically as the description. Most likely not your full text from your show notes. Then the special workflow automatically adds these last two lines of text. View the full show notes at, and it's a link directly back to the originating website for the web page with this podcast episode. And then get more and subscribe to the podcast at the web address. These two pieces of information are pulled from the Yahoo pipe that you first set up when you entered the title of your podcast and the URL. That would be what's used here and automatically added, linking people back to your main website. If you want to customize how these things work, that's when you have to clone the Yahoo Pipes source with your own Yahoo Pipes account and get into the technical back end to try and tweak that for your own use. All of the tags also transitioned over. You see my name and the different author tags transitioned over automatically, as well as the tags that are unique to this specific episode, like planning, presentation, production, promotion, and such. And then the title of the overall show is carried over as a tag. That's all automated from the RSS feed coming from Yahoo Pipes and processed with If This Then That. Then these two extra tags, podcasting and how to podcast, are the two that we added when we set up that channel inside of If This Then That. That's how this all works. It's fully automated. It may take a while for this to actually appear due to the nature of the way these things process the information, but it will appear and it's fully automated for you. If you have multiple podcasts and you want to publish to the same SoundCloud account, all you have to do is create multiple RSS feeds with the Yahoo Pipes tool and create multiple recipes on If This Then That. If, however, you want to publish to multiple SoundCloud accounts, then you'll need to have multiple If This Then That accounts because each If This Then That account can only link to a single SoundCloud account at a time. But then you just follow these exact same processes for each of those podcast feeds to go into each of those SoundCloud accounts. If this has helped you or you've appreciated it, please like this video, comment on it, share it, and please subscribe to my podcast and subscribe to my video channel. And you can get all of those links over at theaudacitypodcast.com and in the notes below this video or at this URL. Now that I've given you some of the guts and taught you some of the tools, it's time for you to go launch or improve your own podcast for sharing your passions and finding success. I'm Daniel J. Lewis from theaudacitytopodcast.com. Thank you for watching.